195 divided by 5. Divided by 5. Etla yes thumb. Divided by 10 into 2. Right? How much is that? 39. 39 times. 10 times minus 1 time. 130 minus 13. 117. Right hand side number comes to left hand side. Minus 12. 117 minus 12. 108. 5 plus 39. 144. Which square is 144? Next. Shall we go with last digit? 85%. That means 85 into 1% value. Which ends with? 67% in the sense 67 into 1% value. Ends with? Answer ends with? Next. Now. Here also I hope you can go with last digit verification. Squaring on both sides. Left side number ending with 9 plus x we have. Right hand side. 26 square ends with? Then x must end with? x must end with 7. How many options are there? Nothing can be done. We have to calculate. Right. 676. Matladali. Hundreds places. 400. 89 plus 80. Total 5. 70. No. 569. So answer will be in 100. And 7. Next. So right hand side, 3 square is there. So first I want to cancel that 3 square. 9. How many times is this? 16 times. 1 3 cancelled in 15 which is 5 times. Another 3 cancelled here which is 200 times. 16 into 25. You know that 4 25 gives you 100. 16 can be written as 4 into 4. That means 400 plus 5 percentage of 200. How much is that? 10. 4 10 answer. Right? Next. Now forget about decimal for some time. Under root 49. How much is that? 7. After decimal, under root we have 2 digits. So original number should have only 1 digit. Likewise, you complete even 81 also. This is 0 0.9. Half. Half means multiplication. 0.7 times of 8000. Decimal and 0 can be cancelled. 7 into 8. 56 double 0. Decimal and 0 can be cancelled. 9 into 8. 72 double zero total value this is 128 double zero right hand side this square under root value is ending with 6 so that must be either ending with 4 or 6 only 60 square is 3600 our number is more than that so it has to be either 64 or 66 only right so middle number square 65 square 42 25 our number is less than that hence it cannot be the one right the other way is 66 is 3 multiple, its square must be 9 multiple. Is our number 9 multiple? So it cannot be 60. That's how also you can calculate. Is that okay? So into 64 comes to the other side by 64. Answer. Matladali 200. Next. 45%. How do you calculate? 50% minus 10% of it, which is 400 minus 10%. How much is that? 360, 14, 400 times into 3, 1200, total 15, 60, right hand side 60 comes to this side, answer, 20, there is only one number which starts with 2, there is only one option which starts with 2, right, don't have to calculate everything, right, 7 divided by 14, divided by 2, right, 1 by 2 into 16, 8 divided by, okay, come here. So entire value comes in denominator because there is a word called half. In place of half, if you have into, this value you know that it is 8 divided by 16 something will come here. In place of half, if you have multiplication, the last under last value which is a number inside bracket that comes in numerator. Athena. Because of half, first we have to complete this half part. The entire value comes in denominator. Okay. Even in this set also. 16 divided by 32 half 2. So first of all, we have to complete that half part. Badma's rule, half part first comes picture. 32 2 times. 16 divided by 64. So 
so that entire value is 1 by 4 of into now 8 into 9 divided by 4 of 9 4 of 9 in the sense 36 so that is 8 into 9 divided by 36 9 how many times 4 how many times 2 by 4 2 in denominator in denominator comes to numerator answer right next See right hand side your x is an exponent 0 0.9 to the power of x by 5. So every number in left hand side should be written as 0 0.9 to the power of something. Right. So concentrate on 9. This is 9 cube. So if you have a decimal, cube will have 3 digits after decimal and it has that. So that means 0 0.9 cube already 4 by 5 is there. That means it is 12 by 5 into into in the sense we can directly add exponent divided by that means you can directly subtract an exponent 6561 which is 9 times of 729 come on that means one more power will come so that means 9 power 4 that is subtracted here already plus 3 you can directly see and from 12 by 5 you need to subtract one matlab ru that means 0 0.9, 12 by 5 minus 1, 7 by 5. Next, right hand side value, what is that? First, let me take that 6 to left hand side and see the calculation. Before going to simplification, see your option and can we verify last digit verification? No, we cannot verify because two options ending with 6, three options ending with 9. So when you cannot verify last digit verification, think of multiple angle, okay? But let's first do that minimum cancellation. Six, how many times? Nine, how many times? Seven, three, sixteen. Now I'll stop. So denominators, twenty-eight, sixteen. Is there any three multiple in denominator? In numerator, do you have any three multiple? Where? Twelve, forty-eight. Is it 3 multiple or 9 multiple? So answer must be only 3 multiple. Come to options. Can it be first? Second? Third? Fourth? Fifth? Done. Next. Forget about decimal. 625. 25. So you have 2 digits after decimal in under root. So original, num original number should have only 1 digit. 2 and half. Half into 400. How much is that? Two and a half, four times into ten, kada. Pakana two zeros in nine, right? Plus under root of twelve twenty five. Thirty five thousand thirty five. Next. Eight, how many times? Five into five? Thirteen. Answer. Next. Can we verify last digit? No, we cannot, right? So, but. Divided by 15 is there in right hand side denominator, correct? If that fellow comes left hand side, it becomes 15 into something. 42 into 35 minus 840. I just rewrite it, okay? So, 15, does it has 3 multiple? 42, is it 3 multiple? That means first number is 3 multiple. Is it 3 multiple? That means difference is also 3 multiple. Number inside bracket is 3 multiple. Outside we have 15. That is also 3 multiple. Answer must be. Can it be first? Second? Third? Fourth? Fifth? Second final. Next. Is it a free question? So your factors both are going to be positive or negative? Both are negative factors. That clarity is there. Okay. Product is 10. Sum must be 7. 2 into? So, minus 2 minus 5 divided by coefficient of x square. Next, product must be 32. That can be written as 4 into 8. Minus 4 minus 8. Anything, this is less than 1, right? And these are more than 1. So, x greater than y. Is it a free question? Yes, me, Bondalu. C values both positive. B value positive here. That means what factors do you get? Negative factors. B is negative here. Positive. So that means answer. Malaksar Sarika Jodandi. 
x greater than y. First equation is y square equation. Second equation is x square equation. So y is negative, x is positive, x greater than y. Got it? Is it a free question? No, it's not a free question. So I'll write 48 as 6 into 8. Yes? Or else 12 into 4 also we can write into. And again, this 12, I'll write it as 3 into 4. My combination, 3 into 7, 4 into 4. Product is negative, so one number must be negative out of 21 and 16, correct? And then you should have minus 5. So my combination is minus 21 plus 16. Factors are divided by 40. One is negative number. One is positive but less than one. Right, remember. Next, y square equation. This entire equation we can write as y minus 11 whole square. That means y is 11 only. x, x less than 1. Right. The given table shows the percentage of marks got by four different persons in three different subjects and maximum marks of each subject is 100. Okay. Right. What is the average mark, number of marks scored by Revati in all subjects together? Average marks by Revati. That means sum of all the numbers divided by. That is one way you can do. The other way is equality method. So numbers are easy, so you can directly add no problem. First two numbers gives you 100. And then 35. 135 divided by 3. Answer. Otherwise, if you see these numbers carefully, they are all consecutive numbers. With a difference of 10, then middle number is your average, 45. Next. What is the respective ratio between total number of marks scored by Lakshmi in science and Priya in social? Lakshmi in science, 50. And then Priya in social, 85. Cancellation with 5 only, 10 times and then 17 times. Total marks scored by Venkat in science is approximately what percentage of total marks scored by Priya in maths? Venkat in science, 42. What percentage? It's direct comparison, not more, not less. Priya in maths, Priya in maths, 65. Percentage into? Now, when you look at your options, options are nearby 50, 60. See, when you see 42 by 65, what is 50% of the denominator? And our number is more than that. Answer must be more than 50%. So, Second, first, second, fifth. They cannot be your answer. Antena. Now, what is 50 percent you say? 32.5. To that, how much you need to add to make it 42? Which is more than 10 percent of the denominator. That means answer must be more than 60 percentage. More than 60, there is only one. What is the difference between total marks scored by Priya in science and social together? Priya in science and social together. 155 and marks scored by Lakshmi in maths and science. Lakshmi maths and science. 98. We were asked to calculate difference, right? First number is how much more than 100? Second is how much less than 100? 55 plus 257 answer. Next. Find the total marks scored by Trivedi. If the total marks scored by Trivedi in all subjects together is 40 percent more than the total marks scored by Revati in all subjects. Revati all subjects we already calculated which was 135 for the first question when we calculate average. Now that should be increased by 40 percent. 40 percent in the sense 10 percent. Double double. 10 percent. Double. Double. Answer. 180. 